Hi, I'm Dr. Martha Boone. I'm a private practice urologist in Atlanta, Georgia. It's becoming increasingly difficult for me to practice medicine because every single patient that I see wants to talk about health care reform. My patients are very concerned about what is being done by our government. One of the most important topics about which they ask me is, Doctor, what is the difference between private insurance and the government-run insurance? As a private practice doctor, the main interaction that um, I'm concerned with is the ability for me to get things that my patients need. All of us know we need to decrease health care costs. All of us have to participate in that. We're also aware that the government-run programs and the private insurances are trying to pay for less and less. But as a doctor with a private insurance company, I can call their medical director, who is a physician, and discuss that specific patient and their care. And in my experience over the last 20 years, 99% of the time, I can get what my patient needs. With the government-run programs, there is no person to call and discuss my patient. I write registered letters. Uh, last month, I wrote nearly 20 registered letters for one patient, and all I got was a form letter. Um, there's no one to help me uh, decide what we can do for my patient that is the most cost-effective thing. In an ideal world, I would not have to call anyone. I've got over 20 years of education, and there's, in my mind, no reason for me to have to call anyone. But in today's environment of trying to contain cost, we do have these agencies that are trying to help us decrease the cost. And so if I'm going to speak with someone about what my patient needs or doesn't need, it would be much better for me to be able to speak to a physician, and that's what I can get with a private insurance company. With the government-run programs, they decide in advance what they will and won't pay for. It doesn't matter the specific condition of an individual patient. All that matters is what is on their algorithm. And when I call to speak to someone, 99% of the time, it is a non-medical person who is just quoting from a manual. That is really an impossible way for me to individuate care for my patients. So from a practicing physician standpoint, that is the biggest problem I have between the government-run programs and the private insurance programs. Another question about which I am frequently quizzed is the tort reform issue. I am most certainly not a lawyer and not a legal expert, so I cannot speak to the legal implications. What I see is how the legal system and the medical system have interacted to the detriment of the medical system. In our neighborhood alone, the majority of our OBGYN doctors pay more in their medical malpractice premiums than they make as salary. Can you imagine the burden of having to generate $100,000 a year just to pay for insurance premiums? It really has become outrageously costly and something must be done about this aspect of the interaction between the legal and the medical system. Our patients ask me every day, well, what should happen with someone who is harmed by the medical system? Doctors and lawyers are human beings. We are going to make mistakes, and due to the nature of our business, some of our mistakes are quite dramatic. All of us believe that the patient who has been harmed by the, legal, by the medical system needs to definitely have compensation. Myself and my colleagues have thought for years that some type of medical court would be very helpful, possibly a mediation process. If a patient is damaged by a physician, the patient could take their case to that mediation process and receive compensation that year. The way that the system currently works, there's high res rewards for the trial lawyers, the patient has to wait years and years to get any type of compensation, and the process is very, very damaging to both the patient and the physicians involved. <laughs> Uh, so we really feel strongly that if we are going to overhaul our health care system, there has got to be legal reform. One of my biggest concerns is that my two young stepdaughters will not have an OBGYN doctor to deliver their babies. This is not an overly dramatic plea. What we're seeing is that young physicians are not going into OB because of the very high cost of malpractice premiums. We see many of the older OBs stopping delivering babies because of the cost of malpractice premiums. So we right now in America have a huge shortage of people who are delivering babies, and this is getting worse every year. Without some very significant changes in the way that the legal and medical system interact, I deeply fear that by the time my stepdaughters are old enough to be bearing children, 
that there won't be adequate OB coverage for them. In summary, I would like for doctors and patients to talk more to each other about this health care reform. I feel that the interest of the insurance companies and the pharmaceutical companies and the government are all being represented, but nobody is representing the doctors and the patients. We have not had the years that the trial lawyers have had to develop our lobbies. The patients really never imagined that they would need to lobby against their government for good health care. So I would like definitely for doctors and patients to talk more about what we need out of reform.